Ciao, Francesco. Are you happy with a third place after some intense battles like that? Yeah, I'm happy. Happy is always when you're in the top three, you have to be happy. I'm happy. Um, happy for the feeling I had during the race. Not in the first laps because I was struggling with the rear grip, but uh, uh, it's okay. Um, happy because uh, the race was uh, nice to do. I was enjoying, I was having a good battle and uh, and I was just upset um, in a moment for the tense, for the adrenaline, uh, because after a touch, after a contact, you always feel like this, but it's racing and uh, I'm happy for that. The only thing that I'm not understanding is for the same things, two weeks ago I get the penalty, so it's quite strange, but it's okay. Is it something you um, spoke about at the safety commission, because that was also a big topic, of course? Uh, yesterday was quite quite understandable what happened and uh, what we uh, were saying the point of view of the stewards so we, we found a good balance for me but today was was not the same way of yesterday in the same line so it's strange what about tomorrow do you fear those guys that were in front of you today will be there also tomorrow? Yeah, they are competitive. Uh, Jorge today demonstrated a really good pace. Um, Brad in the last laps were, were struggling a bit more, but in any case they were competitive. So uh, well, let's see tomorrow is a different way to, to, to do the race tomorrow. So it will be important to remain in calm at the start. Yeah, good luck tomorrow. Congrats. Hi Brad. Congratulations with the P2 after a rocket start again, I would say. And after that you were the lucky one when Two dogs were fighting for one bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw on my board that I had a gap and I was like, hey, maybe it's the gap to Jorge in front. Then I realized, oh no, it's behind. And so I knew something went on behind me. What I still don't know, but uh, it gave me an opportunity to make the gap. But um, anyway, I was really, really, really happy. I think uh, I can do a good job tomorrow. I know what we need to change. And when I get that right, I know I can be strong in the race tomorrow. Because Pekka was getting a little bit closer at the end and you couldn't really close the gap to Jorge. Yeah, I uh, was struggling quite a bit and I never wanted to throw away a podium. So, of course, I didn't want to over push at the end and uh, risk a crash. So when I saw I had the margin, I just made sure to bring the bike home because there was no catching Jorge for me today. And uh, yeah, we brought home another second position, more valuable points and uh, another podium. So I'm really happy. For tomorrow, it's like I remember last Thursday we were saying I'd rather crash than finishing second, but that's only for the main race, I guess, right? <laughs> well, but that's only when you have an opportunity at it. Uh, you know, you've got to be, be smart and accept what you have on the, on the plate that day, you know. And uh, today we walked away with another podium at a track where I've struggled my entire life, to be honest. So I really can't complain. All right, go enjoy. Good Thank luck you tomorrow. So. Thanks so much. Good to see you. Uh, intense battle today on track. Uh, Peko was a little bit, uh, well... Uh, not annoyed I would say but a little bit aggressive also and he said I accept the move but maybe the stewards are not consistent again today because I got punished for this last time for me we are speaking too much about this kind of things uh, this is MotoGP we are racing I mean uh, what happened today on track uh, was uh, everything uh, normal if you want to speak about it he can speak I will not speak I mean uh, if somebody were to me like this I will say okay nice overtake uh, so uh, some guys overtook uh, on the straight, I need to overtook on the corner, so uh, this is the, the thing. But were you enjoying today? Because it seems like you were. Yeah, I mean, today I enjoyed. I mean, uh, I was, uh, you know, in the race was a bit, in the beginning I was a little bit stiff, you know. And, uh, but then in the end, in the end of the race, I started to feel better and better. Last lap 31.9, uh, so, uh, so this is uh, positive for, uh, for tomorrow. But, uh, but yeah, uh, today was a, a nice race and a nice top five. Do you think you can fight for top five again tomorrow in the long race? Uh, if I can be in the top five, uh, I will be super happy. I mean, long race will be a little bit tougher, uh, but uh, we will try to, to manage uh, all the things in our way. Jorge, congratulations with the first sprint victory of the season. It almost looked easy when you do it. Well, it, it's never easy to, to win, but yeah, I had a good pace. Uh, I did a great start. It was, this was the most important, I think. And then I didn't expect to, to be that fast, actually. I was super, super competitive, also keeping the pace. So I'm happy about this. I feel like tomorrow I can do it also, but for sure the other people will improve. But, you know, we got this into the pocket, uh, first victory of the sprint uh, and for a long time. So I'm happy about me and about the team also. You said the race pace yesterday already was good, just waiting for qualifying to put it all together. But you don't need that if you start like a rocket. 
I mean, uh, I, I struggled a lot in qualifying because I didn't put everything into one lap. I did two laps or three laps in a row. So I knew the pace was good, but I, I was expecting more for, for the qualifying. But yeah, I did the best in fifth position here is not bad. The first two rows are okay. And it's a track where you can overtake. So it's, ha it's good and I'm happy about, about this for tomorrow. Good to see you're okay after, you know, a disappointing result after a crash. But correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem so calm and chill. Yes. Uh, you know, I decide to don't get angry anymore. You know, we are in a difficult situation. And being calm, I think, is the best way to 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 improve. So I'm trying to, to find a solution with the team. And, uh, yeah, I've given everything. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to try if there was another limit on the limit I, I feel. After a tough first lap, you were in P16. You fought yourself back to P8. It must mean, like, the pace is actually good. The race pace. Yes, race pace is good, but you know, like the start was not bad, but just you know, the second corner I was in a little bit in the middle, and um, you know, we are engine limit from from the start, so of course it's, it's difficult, but uh, we know we have the pace in terms of race pace, but the term in one speed, one lap, we are slow, so this is what we need to, to improve. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.